So some sun, yes. some clouds, and there are so many activities across Northeast Ohio. A live sky view shot of downtown Cleveland for you. Not too bad on this Sunday morning. I do want to tell you though, if you are headed out, I hope that you have your allergy medicine handy because I already took mine today, folks. We've got high levels or at least moderate to high levels of tree pollen over the next couple of days, and that's because our rain chances, they're a minimal. So today, tomorrow, Tuesday, even Wednesday and Thursday, expect the levels to be pretty heightened. I think today, the one thing that's going to keep uh, some of the levels at bay is that we're going to have some wind gusts, potentially up to about 30 miles per hour through the afternoon and evening. Not going to create too much trouble for your Mother's Day plans, but it's definitely cooler than this time yesterday by about 5 to 10, even 15 degrees in some locations. We're starting the day in the 50s for the majority of Northeast Ohio, 61 right now in Dover, 54 in Elyria, 52 in Youngstown. Zooming you out regionally, we're almost all in the same boat, but when I flip on our regional satellite and radar, you can see where the cloud cover is, where the rainfall is too. It's back off to the north and west. They actually had a stalled out system that was causing a lot of trouble through the state of Nebraska the past couple of days with active severe weather. For us, though, I think maybe a passing sprinkle early this morning and then potentially late tonight. And I say that because most of this flow is right along this arrowed uh, line that I kind of put right here on your screen for you to simply show just the movement of this pattern. So I think off the disturbance that's moving through the Chicago land area, same thing in Wisconsin right now, we could get a trailing sprinkle or two late tonight. It's not going to cause too much trouble for mom or, you know, all the family plans you have today. Mother's Day high temperature, 67 degrees. That's not too far off from where we should be this time of the year. Sun, clouds, and of course, that breeze factor too. So our wind gusts could peak around about 25 to 30 miles per hour over the next 12 hours or so. Not the worst situation, as uh, I think a lot of you probably want the window open now. We've kind of pushed out the excess humidity levels we had around the past couple of days too, with just the cold front that dropped through yesterday. And your national Zimmerman on the hour for on the hour forecast for the day tomorrow. I want you to also take away that the sunshine isn't going anywhere anytime soon and we beat today's high temperature tomorrow. We're closer to about 70 degrees. So if you maybe have Monday off or you're taking a longer Mother's Day weekend, congrats to you. You picked a great one because tomorrow we're going to have an abundance of sunshine. If you have plans to maybe be outside or you want more plans on top of what you are going to deal with maybe today too. Take advantage of it. You can start to plant some things in the ground too. And maybe that's what mom wants on this Mother's Day. It's for the whole fam to get out and help with the yard. Not a bad idea. Maybe you take advantage of that and let mom relax. 67 degrees or high temperature today in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast. 70 tomorrow, 75 degrees on Tuesday. We'll have more cloud cover on Tuesday. That's thanks to our next cold front sweeping on through, but that's a dry front. But it will bring our temperatures back near 60 degrees for the middle of the week. Brianna.